And uh, five for me is explain <laughs> why a common object has an alternative use, probably Wonderful. as a weapon. Uh, so let's begin. And any with... deers recently, Haggy? Pardon, what? I asked Haggy knows about my deer esca escapades. Hit any deers recently? Me, no. I fucking <laughs> fuck deer. Okay. Out there in the Fury Road. <laughs> we begin. Got some gasoline. Yeah. With uh, the dark depths of the hold of a void ship. A single candle rests on top of your munitions crate as an individual stoops over writing in a journal. A small cough behind her makes her look up as Inquisitor Cyrus uh, greets Matthias as he steps out from behind a series of boxes. Uh, Lady Inquisitor, we're going to be arriving on the station shortly. She goes, good, and she quickly folds up her pen, puts it in her pocket, blows on the uh, book, folds it up, puts it in the pocket as well, stands up, turns to him and says, I want this done quickly and I or sorry, I want this done quickly and I want this done quietly. Hopefully if we pull this off well we'll uh have this done in good measure. It shouldn't be too difficult. And she claps him on the shoulder. And as she claps him on the shoulder, we are transported into her view, severed arm lying on the ground. And she collapses to her knees and looks up at a beaten, naked man wriggling on a meeting room table, laughing maniacally. Yep. What would you like to do? I would like to charge up an eye, please. Okay. I would like to <laughs> charge him and pin him to the opposite wall. Okay, uh, <clears throat> that is going to be a grapple that you're attempting to do at the moment. Okay. Uh... Is it contested? Uh, if you choose to contest it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to try and casually wrestle the fucking Space Marine. Yeah, yes, sure. you can attempt to get. You can attempt no, to I wrestle think... the Space Marine if you so choose. What would I use? <laughs> that is. This is going to be opposed strength tests. Uh, yes, grapple is a post strength. Is, uh, can he use dexterity uh, or agility? I should say. No. Uh, no. Fair enough. <laughs> guys, that's, that's guys, us guys, I, told boys. I, I, guys, I think I got this. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> See. <laughs> Wonderful. So that is immediately a bully point for me. So yep, Odysseus, you just fucking grab him. Slam him oh, up against the wall. If I remember rightly, I was on the other side of the table. So I you are go, leaping. I want to go through, to, through the table. So you're through charging the through the table. Okay. So in that situation, you're going to be knocking Bartholomew over as well. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Bartholomew goes flying. Uh -huh. As you place one fucking foot, you like, kind of do like a running leap. Place one foot in the table and just go right fucking through it. <laughs> I just advance through the table to grab him. Yeah, so <coughs> I want to pin Zephania against the wall mm -hmm. with my left hand, and right hand, draw the combat knife and hold it to his throat. Okay. Uh, whilst you do that, I now yeah. have to perform some actions. Yep, before. Including, but not limited to a toughness check. To not bleed out. To not bleed out. Oh, this is going to be... I'm going to use a rune, I think, for this. Uh. <laughs> Let me just double check something. For rune, yes, I can. Oh, no, I don't have to. Never mind. So I am going to... Boop, boop. Boop. I am going to re-roll that failure. <laughs> I am going to re-roll that failure. <laughs> there we go. 
So she is no longer bleeding. She no longer has the bleeding trait. And she is going to uh Yeah, she'll be able to she is going to uh take like open a small pouch at her side and begin to take out some Medicaid instruments. She is taking out a, a, a what call it? A medicate, literally a medicate. Whilst whilst panting and uh, fucking like freaking out. Me want to make sure that she doesn't get that. <clears throat> Would anyone you've else? Seen, you've seen what's under the station. We can't let these things live. Staring <coughs> daggers into your fucking eyes. You say this. Would anyone else like to perform any actions at this current moment? No. Well, that's what this has got under control. I would like to march over to the Inquisitor. Mm hmm. And just smack her with the butt of my rifle and try to, like, stop her from like, using the Medicaid kit, basically. Okay. Actually, I would like to restrain um, Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Uh, okay, so if this is the case, I am going to need a melee attack from you, please, Paul. So just a weapon skill test. I take it you're. I take it actually you're not attempting to do a. You're not attempting to do a any damage to her. You're just attempting to prevent her from. I just. Prevented her from healing and sort of like try to keep her like down on the ground. In that situation, then that would be I would say that would probably be either an interaction or you're attempting to grapple her to prevent her from to restrain her. Yeah, we can use grappling for this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that would be another strength test, please. Contested. Strength with. athletics. Uh, no strength test specifically. Oh, strength. strength would be halved, seeing as how she only has one arm, right? Uh, <laughs> that's actually a good. Point. That is a good point. Yes. <laughs> Well, that's five. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes, Which she is. Two, is, and, a half, two she, and a half more times the arms she has. Not not only is she not only is she incredibly weak at the moment, she is also uh, just fucking obviously distracted, and she uh, just fucking like as you knock this Medicaid kit from her hand, she like stumbles and like falls over. I just put, I just put like an armored boot on her back, and just keep her down. Just turn, turn to the both of you. We got them, we got them secured. Uh, both of you. Sister, Gosling. Evangeline. Uh, yep. If uh, that is the case, I'm going to need some form of test from you as well to make sure because as you're like turn to look at Bartholomew, he looks like he is about to spring up to fucking attempt to engage this Inquisitor. Like you're not sure how because he's got one arm and no hand, but he's got to make an attempt. <laughs> So, <laughs> would you want for me to so, kind of prevent him? So you can you can attempt to either intimidate him or restrain him, or just trip him, or any other form of action. As I see him looking, as he's going, I think it's on his back right now. Uh, he has been knocked off of the table due to the fact that the table is like mostly gone at the moment. So he's fallen onto the floor and he is kind of trying writing himself and almost getting ready to spring. Okay, I would like to just like stamp on his chest, okay. put a gun to his head, and go. Okay. I would stay still if I were you. Uh, so that sounds like intimidation to me. So if you'd like to make an intimidation check, please. Okay, I'm getting me vibes here. Two, three. <laughs> I'm gonna re-roll the failures on that. One, two, three, four failures. Four failures, okay. Help me with it. 46, last one is the wrath. Oh, wonderful. So that is a total of five successes. Uh, he is cowed. Very much so. He like, he even stops laughing, which he has continued to, to do in his awful, uh, disturbing tone of voice. But he has now stopped doing that. He is now cowed and quiet and pinned and not and trying very hard not to move. Mm -hmm. Inquisitor Osiris, 
you've just knocked her over, yes? You haven't pinned her or anything, have you, Paul? Uh, yeah. Oh, you had no. Put on her back so she can get up. I. I can't. I. Help me. You will stay on the ground two minutes. And I want to let up some pressure on Zephaniah's throat. Okay. Mm hmm. Butting heads, the position is one thing. Attempted murder is another. You've got 30 seconds to explain yourself before I sever your head from your shoulders. <clears throat> Go. It's as I say. <coughs> he wants to find a way to eradicate it. He has the key in order to make sure that this gene set does not get out. I don't want these things leaving the station. You know what danger they can actually, you know, wreak upon a population from the shadows, let alone actually in full view. If she's getting in the way of that, it's what you angels and what those sisters over there consider heresy. And I can't let that happen. So for both our sake, pretty please, with sugar and cherries on top, we can't allow her to stop this wretch from doing whatever he needs to do. We, 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 I don't like him as much as you do, but if he has a chance to wipe out this gene sect, then that's what, something we have to do. We can't allow these things to get off the station. And if she's in the way of that, we're all doomed. Who do you think brought it here in the first place? Just relax. Up off. Take the blade away from your throat. Turn. Eventually, mm. can you and Fabienne, Fabienne more specifically, and Hospitalis fabricate a cure? Mm. Possibly the Hospitalis. Fabienne might be able to concoct something. Osiris, can we se se segregate the cure? Can we put it into a way that we can only. We can put it into syringes? Or does it have to be. Completely stationwide. I don't even know what it is yet. Please help, please. Like, I would actually need a Medicaid, please, if I could, from you, Paul, if you do not mind. No. <laughs> well, you're the one that is like looking at Osiris right now. You're been keeping an eye on. Oh, is her. it is it to, is it to keep her alive or to like tell something? It is to be able to tell something. Okay, because it's to keep her alive that I don't care. Uh... <laughs> Would you like an assist? Yeah, sure, you might as well. If she begins healing, I begin shooting. Oh, of course. That's why. Uh, both, of, both of you are very familiar with grievous wounds and the like. This woman is on the brink of death. She, oh, good, she needs medical attention right fucking now. Excellent, this is where we want her. Nice and weak. I, uh, yeah. I don't let up the pressure with the boot. Okay. Uh, that is fine. And... What was the last thing you asked? Uh, fucking, can you synthesize a cure chip? She, I, she doesn't even know what it is yet. You understand, the Quizzer, that... If the secure is synthesized, the plague upon this station, and I do not mean the disease, will continue to fester and grow. I have contingencies for that. Glaive, see if she doesn't bleed out. Keep the gun on her, guardsman. If she tries anything, kill her. What shall we do with this one? After all, he did try to kill us earlier. Alive for now. Because I'd very much like to have a conversation with this cryptomid. <clears throat> for now being the key words. <clears throat> for now, indeed. If any of these inquisitors live, we're all dead. Which oh. is why for now are the key words. Absolutely. They don't get any more outside communication. We assess the situation, and from there, we decide whether they live or die. Because right now, they're both, they're both guilty of heresy. I'm not sure we have the equipment to stop 
any outside communication with either of you. Who knows what implants they have? It was just stripping both. I was stripping the other one since we've stripped one. I mean inside them. I know. Eh? <laughs> they can be removed. <laughs> eh? So go to the mechanicus. That's a good idea. Hold, hold on. We're taking an inquisitor to the mechanicus to have an implant. Oh, the bit is checked for any implant. Yes. Unless you know where it is. Sorry. I have a knife. And what? They both have too much information. The Mechanicus will them. just be fine with this? The Mechanicus will do what they're told. Have you, have you ever worked with a Mechanicus? Yes, many times. They never do what they're told. <laughs> the right pressure, the right place. They do whatever they want. They always have anterior motors, but they'll do what they're told. Unless, of course, you make them want to do this. But the more expedient, the better. Simply put, the these... These two are both bitch. guilty of heresy. So but why don't we just kill them now and save the trouble? Because at the end of the day, they are inquisitors. That's the problem. If he has a cure, or at least a way of synthesizing one to wipe out the menace from below. What do you mean the can... cure is already in motion? People are already dying. This poison is obviously the cure. No, the, the, the poison is indiscriminate. I mean, it's not... It... If we can I mean, find it, would, it would be a lot easier just to wipe out the entire station, but... Very easy. But let's try and see if we can save some. So who? Who is this cure going to be synthesized? Not everybody. The, the cure will be used to, to be synthesized by the, by the sisters in attempts to save the regular populace. Mm, if... Used to save the most um, devout, no doubt. Mm. Better, than, better the devout than none at all. And it could mean that the church owes us a favor or two. But well, it means we get to live rather than being expunged. You might survive. I might survive. Everyone in this room might survive the plague. Yes, I would like you to... Right, over definitely dead. We will not be definitely dead. We for now. You are an angel, and this, these two, are inquisitors. Yes. And a wise angel does not screw with the Inquisition, if they have any choice about it. I like, look around for any sort of, like, <laughs> hello? <laughs> well, I didn't think they didn't, and, uh, well... <laughs> Being still, yes, I agree. Hmm. She's outlived her usefulness, not that she had much to begin with. And he, well, if you can synthesize a better... Oh shit, the Abatees are here. <laughs> <laughs> My god! <laughs> Fucking Paisley. I thought we'd a... more days until they arrived. Buy, buy a fan! <laughs> so, th this... Stuff that was introduced into the meat at Grinder 12. Mm -hmm. It's this poison that will kill off lots of people. Everyone. Everyone, Everyone was adjusted the meat from Grinder 12, which is the vast majority of the population, if not the entirety of it, will be killed off. If we keep these two alive a while bit longer, we might be able to find a cure for some of the population. I say this because the Famulus are specifically are able to uh, check the genetic code of the people that come to them. If we set up checkpoints and we have a cure, they will be able to weed out the ones who are infested with uh, the gene stealer strain. I have a second question. Mm -hmm. How long do you think this will take? What did we get started? Did not try at all. And I point to the guy, and he introduced this poison. I had no part in such an activity. But you do you two, know. You two need to get your story straight. I just look at the Inquisitors. Like, Sorry, Angel. How long will this take? I don't know. But if we save a few people, then none at all. So, you don't know that this will be finished by the time the Arbitis arrive. 
and decide but, that just to kill everybody else is easier. At that point, it's out of our hands. But we can I would say it already is. No, it is very much in our control <clears> still. Worst case, I can get us a ship off station. I would like us to begin a process. Whether the process will be finished or interrupted, destroyed, is irrelevant. It's best we make a start on one. Or would you just like to let everyone die off and hide in a hole for the next few days until the RPGs arrive? Everybody's going to die just anyway, so... Hmm? The poison. Might he have a cure? I think the poison he's referring to is the... <clears throat> the strain for the family. <laughs> As in... The genetic code that first came here to begin with grandfather, perhaps, as they referred it to, as 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 it to, of course. <clears throat> we'll know anything about that. Point is, <laughs> your face. The point is, if we can find a way to make sure that this kind of debacle doesn't happen again, understanding, of course, my family's uh, culpability of the situation. Then yes, why shouldn't we do that? At the same time, of course, we know the arbitrators, they'll be thorough in their investigation as they usually do, which also means a lot of burning citizens. Mm -hmm. What we do also understand is, however, if we con we con concoct a way in order to actually come out of this on top, making sure the right voices are heard, we'll be lionized in this regard. You know, I betrayed an entire mat you know, matrimonial line in order to get a a tip-off for the weapons to begin with, and that was just a minor baron. No disrespect for the, for the station, of course, but even still, imagine what we could get with an entire Ordos, or an entire, well, Adeptus, in that regard. It may just be minor, but it may be enough to get out of this all unscathed, and off this damn... Well, on that note, cube. <laughs> I do have a way off this station. I made contact with the uh, tech priest, and I man mean to make uh, to actually have a, uh, a job lined up with her. Okay. And oh. regardless, we keep she's going alive. to be of further use. She needs medical attention, and he could use some time to think about what he's going to tell us next. Indeed, I believe the chapel has interrogation cells. What use does she, does she serve? Inquisitor? She's an Inquisitor. Right. Uh, information. Vouch, yourself, vouch for yourself. She, she, like, it looks like she's almost struggling to breathe with a bit on her back. Services of a Mechanicus? He's up a bit. He's up a bit. <laughs> More force. Sis sister. She like, calls out. Sister. What? You are of the Adeptus Sororitas, are you not? I am. The Sisters of Battle. What of it? I am Inquisitor Osiris of the Order Hereticus. By ancient imperial decree, I call on you as Order Militant of the Ordo Hereticus. To preserve my life. To what extent do you plan to call into the service, Inquisitor? Absolutum. Your order swore to defend mine. Inquisitor? Do you plan to minister a cure that would remove the contagion that is wiping out the gene stealer plague? Investigations will need to be done. Will need to be done first. I do not know what form this plague takes. Only that it is rife. None upon this I... station are of a more of a, are of a more capable hand than mine to administer such a thing if it does exist. Just no, 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 Zep, no, no, no. <laughs> it's... No, 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 no. 
Let's get them both back to the Ecclesiarchy. They will be kept under lock and key. No contact with the outside. And we will only do what we feel is right. We kill them both here, what does it accomplish? This isn't my crush of ice. Peace of mind. Besides that... The DCs. I know. Addressing the rest. We kill them both here. We've killed two Inquisitors. So what? I don't think you understand <coughs> the gravity of that. I think you understand the gravity of leaving either of them alive. Two alive inquisitors better than, better than two dead. Cries out, are you questioning? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Yes, I am questioning. Do you have any idea who we're dealing with? Yes, Could the Inquisition. No, the Inquisition. Yes, I know. My chapter is stopping from burning and an entire section. And you shall remember your place, no. mutant. Oh, well, it's okay. No, no. I'm dead anyway. No, no, no. Shoot stop. me. You might as well. Best only one. <laughs> Interrogator lives, the one who she lives, could I'm reward dead. us. Doesn't matter. You are not dead. Everybody's alright, I'm dead. Doesn't matter. So, go on, shoot me. Wait, wait. The Abyss arrived, you're dead. How? <laughs> Have you seen <laughs> Kaiser? He like, uh, lifts up her arms and just big bat wings or some shit. <laughs> uh, so, Kaiser, you have okay, proved uh, your uh, usefulness, but right now you are out of light. Uh, uh, if, if, you're, if you believe you are genuinely damned, as soon as the RBGs arrive, yes, you believe that? Yes. The rest of us are not. So by killing them, you kill us. If you're dead either way, you know, if you're dead, cause- What? The Inquisition will come after the ones who killed their own. If you, if they are killed by our hands and you're already dead, they're just going to go for the next ones along the line. If they find the bodies and the means of death. They always have contacts somewhere. If you are dead either way, as you believe you are, you believe you are dead either way, but they beat his hands. Yes? Okay. So we let them live and then they just kill us later anyway? Well, you're dead either way. So what does it matter for you? Yeah, so I get to live a bit longer. But you died for the Arbides in four days, according to yourself. Well, that's not technically, you know, true. I might survive. It depends. <laughs> I'd rather take my chances than die instantly to this Inquisitor. Right then. You Here's the odds. You kill these Inquisitors now, you condemn yourself and us all. We keep them alive, there is a chance for all of us to make it off this godforsaken rock. To be not condemned? The, the Inquisitor has lost an arm and we have tortured another one half to death. You think you are not condemned? <coughs> no, because they're still alive. Now, shall we quit this chit chat and get them back to the PCR? Yeah. Glaive, would you mind patching up the one the bleeding arm? Definitely. I will do my best. Thank you. So, uh, four or five. I'd say I took my bullet, put off her back, and I just walk out. Oh, she, she allows you to uh, administer medical aid. And, uh. Me, you know where you can kill me. That, uh, I'm not going to be curious yet. <clears throat> Of your frequency, don't worry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, using a Medicaid test, I would lead you to do difficulty three. Every shifted exalted icon on the Medicaid test to restore a wound restores one additional wound. So, you are restoring two wounds to this uh, per unfortunate soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, that is true. So, uh, yeah, she is still real fucked up, but uh, for now she is uh, alive. I believe the sister will indeed keep you alive, Inquisitor, though not in the terms you might be preferring. If you love anything on this station, Astartes, you'll want better than that. We'll see. We'll have a longer chat later. Let's get you into a little cell. I need equipment. We will discuss all this later, when we get you into your little box. 
Okay, I'm going to need. Uh, I think I think we're going to be doing some opposing leadership here. Sure. I think I think that would be pretty good. Sure. So, and then I assist the TCS? You certainly can. Ooh. Christ. Ooh. She at at this at this uh this fucking mental might that is being brought down upon her, she uh shirks a little and uh kowtows for now. Simply put, Mozart, we're right now debating whether or not you are both heretics catching this entire station with the needs of your <coughs> fire. That's all. Once we determine the facts, then we will see. Also, you scaring the shit out of my guards when it doesn't bode well for you. She, she ignores the slight and, uh, as a final remark says, I would suggest putting in a call to the uh, cruiser that's on its way. Oh, how was that? I think the marshal might be interested in knowing that there's a plague upon the station. Noted. Don't talk to her after that, Nathan. Yeah. Yep, she will fucking awesome. just get shuttled off to the Sisters of Battle headquarters and put in a box. Do, do we mm -hmm. cover them? Oh yes, 100%. Totally fine. Uh, now, just to clarify, who has all of the equipment of Bartholomew, by the way? Who stole all his shit? From that I think thing. it was I think it was me that was tearing shit off of him, I think. Was okay. it? Uh, I just want to clarify because I don't want you guys to miss this because it's just some good sh it's some good loot and I think you guys deserve it. Okay. So uh, on Bartholomew, we had a flat coat and then his weapons were a ring which essentially functions as a hand flamer. And a hand cannon as well. Okay. Wonderful. Cool. A miniature uh, hand flamer. If you want to put that into your actual combat stuff, uh, we can discuss that at a later point. It has slightly different stats than a hand flamer. It's fine. Okay. okay. So, yep. Shut it off. They are both emboxed for now. I imagine in like, opposite cells. Yep. Mm hmm. How do you get them to the Ecclesiarchy? I imagine it's, uh, well that's a good question over actually. Shoulder, over shoulder perhaps? Uh, didn't we requisition a sh kind of shuttle? To yeah, you've got a little, you've got a little here, so. land speeder shuttle kind of golf cart thing that you can move around in mm -hmm. for now. Yeah. But I imagine you're black bagging them, yes? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Hmm. If that is the case, I'm going to need some leadership checks to, uh, to fucking influence people that you're drag as you're dragging two people out of a fucking like high command structure, one of which you did not enter with, and also was wearing Chirigan robes. Sorry. Sure. Chirigan, you said. I said Chirigan. Mm. Hmm? Five six. So you can succeed, mm -hmm. but okay. As you're leaving, people seem distracted. Okay. There are frantic calls throughout the station that that people are making all over, attempting to find okay. another Medicaid, another doctor. The Baron's taken a turn for the worse. Okay. Can we send Fabian over? Yeah, you can totally fucking send Fabian over to try and uh, medic uh, provide aid to the doctor. Uh, or to the Baron, sorry. Yeah. Do you know what required to aid in the making of a cure? That's Sense a good point. AIDS. Sense of her aids, then? Just Forbes, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, I do believe that at least two of those are not, in fact, uh, Cherrigans. But you are. Uh, let me just double check. Ah, fuck it, I'm pretty sure they are. I'm pretty sure at least one of them is. So you can send one of them over, she can do her best. It's fine. The okay. thought that counts. It's the thought that counts indeed. So yeah, you can potter off of those motherfuckers and uh, stick them into the uh, St. Vardis Ecclesiastical in the basement. Mm -hmm. For now. Mm -hmm. Alright, what would you like to do now? Well, make sure she's got all of her equipment taken off her. Okay. In that situation, uh, on her person, you find a refractor field, a chrono, uh, medica, uh, inquisitorial rosette, and a notebook and pen. Autoquill, essentially. Love that movie. <laughs> what? What? The notebook? Fuck's sake! Oh my god! You're so you're so touching your feminine side. Oh no! <laughs> I made so sure there is uh, of someone to look after, but um, and where to send them in? I say, remember, with this crisis, we must. Ration or pain medication. This one may be of endless need. What? Which one are you referring to? Osiris. Interesting. Oh, both of them, actually. Both of them. But she's the one that's dying, so. That is true. She, uh, are, are you the one that is leading them? I, I imagine you're the one that's leading them down, yes? Mm. Uh, no, just for a person that's not overly familiar with uh, 40k lore and stuff. Uh, she has called upon you as the Ordos Militant. So the, each Ordos of the Inquisition has their, like, Ordos Militant, which is essentially their military arm that they can call upon in severe situations to act. She has essentially done that to you. Mm -hmm. So, uh... She said nothing about making it comfortable. Just to preserve her life. Those were her words, exactly. Yeah, prolong my life. Mm -hmm. She looks to you. Those seem like a bit of a conviction test. I think that would be a conviction test. That's a good point. You are attempting to, uh... You are... You are Trying to circumvent your uh, conditioning, essentially. Okay. Your faith. Yes. So that sounds like a conviction. There's always need for servitors, and she'd still be alive. Okay. So that is a fail. Now mm -hmm. let us find out. Uh, so that is going to give me a bully point. <laughs> Difficulty on 285. Oh no, whatever will the gang do? <laughs> like Scoop. <laughs> oh well, no. these inquisitors are kind of sus. You gain a one corruption. <laughs> Drop both into the club. <coughs> and. To avoid corruption. Who had the banjoline? <laughs> Anyone? Anyone? No? Uh. <laughs> you can't torture inquisitors and not get corruption. No. You, may, you may choose to spend a single wrath to reduce the difficulty of the current corruption test by one. Oh, wait, no, never mind. You've already rolled. Disregard. Uh, nope, it's all good. Uh, yeah, you get a corruption. Sorry, friendo. Whole one corruption, but yeah. So you are essentially uh, def de defying the uh, tenets of your orders at the moment. In essence, in in spirit, if not in specific word. If you know what I mean. Mm. Basically, this person is an FBI agent that's tried to get your fucking sheriff department to give her a, a hand, and you've just gone, nah. 
<laughs> just for a little bit of an actual real world comparison. Anyway, what's the rest of the gang doing while this is happening? Praying. Okay. So we got a good prayer going. Everybody else? I'm going to be interrogating the Inquisitor uh, for a while. So, Joe, what do you want to do? <laughs> Plan an assassination, I'm guessing. Uh, but I, I'm praying, but also watching Joe. Causeway. <clears throat> probably, I could probably see that. Well, pers personally, I'm you just... See that? Do you see that? The that's, that's... head? We can always try. <laughs> oh god, he's, he's, he's stealth praying from the rafters. <laughs> yeah, would you like to contest? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Are we doing like a put up a post stealth to see? So you're like you're stealthing, but you're also playing a game of fucking where's Wally and amongst the clergy the clergyman. Yeah, yeah stealth, I'm stealth actually, and stealth for what? I'm actually stealth and stealth. What in his? Because I am lost. Man, you make a lot of fucking the, the, rules for your stealth. The, there's two inquisitors, <coughs> and one inquisitor says the other inquisitor's bad, but my party decides otherwise. But the angel. Doesn't like both. What what am I to do? Yes, thank you. All I do know is that the wig haired one keeps stabbing people. <laughs> he must be good at his job. <laughs> so I'm watching him closely. <laughs> <clears throat> Honestly, while this is all going on, I'm just lighting <laughs> I'm just lighting a low stick and well checking on the party. Who else, who else is around us? Uh, I imagine everyone's here on this stated otherwise. Kreiser, are you going to be here as well? I am not. You are not in St. Bartas Ecclesiastical. That I left, is totally I left fine. before they left the uh, spire. Uh, I'm going to mm -hmm. be joining Odysseus in the interrogation to make sure he doesn't kill. Okay. So it is uh, so it is just you two as agents that are currently in the actual main uh, reflectory or uh, prayer uh, quarters. Uh Odysseus, uh, Glaive, and Zephaniah. Uh, though you do see that there are many, many sick that have now sought shelter and succour in this building, being tended to by anyone that can lend a hand. If that means medical assistance, so be it. If that means the Emperor's mercy, so be it as well. And before we go to the interrogation, I'm just going to quickly... Run to the restroom. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. I'll get a refill. I'm, I'm, I don't know about you, Glay, but I'm not staying here. It's no, it's it's, it's too it's it's <laughs> it's too far for them, and quite frankly, there are more pressing matters to attend to. Gradually turn the key and gradually stabbing another one. Open the job you are. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I may be wearing this one's face, but that's entirely out of context. <laughs> Like Emperor's Mercy, and then just see someone gradually, like, quietly taking an ear. <laughs> just painfully scooping out one eyeball at a time. Oh, God. <laughs> you can't say God shot us here, but torture the Inquisitor. I can! Well, I'm not gonna torture her. Well, I'll be back in one moment. What? what, you're going to apply your advanced questioning techniques you found in Guantanamo? If you're wondering why I'm being quiet, remember, believe is a tool. Yeah. Useful tool. Just believe in that. that. A, a useful tool, yes. <laughs> He is a tool. A complete tool. Hmm. I have an idea that it is decent. But it's a radical one. No, not really. So if I can... the survival of me and my friend. That's fair. That's absolutely fair. I am just sussing it out. Sussing it out. I fully expect the RPDs to come here and burn fucking everything. Well, I'm just, I'm just gonna walk past and be like, I, I got tortured it. Tortured it in there. Oh, so, I just, like, then the life of a start is right. To get meta in the sense of 40k, when a system becomes too troubled, i.e., heretical, plagued, or anything, they either quarantine and shoot anything that comes out of there. Or, if they really, really want it and think it's a danger to affecting systems, exterminatus. 
Yeah. Or if we're in the butt fuck end of nowhere, which is where we are, they might just go, yeah, we'll let that one ride out. Yeah. Hey, honey I am going to keep these equipment alive, get her to explain her bullshit, and we'll see what happens. We're on the frontier now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, it's the RBTs, it's not the Inquisition doing this. The RBTs are just judging all <sighs> this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? We're talking like uh, 40k lore. Just getting a <coughs> oh, what 40k lore are you talking? Oh, just in the general concept of this situation as to like what the Imperium would do. Um, I think the Imperium would kill everyone that hears about it. Yep. <laughs> it's... Yep. That's just my take on the situation. But you did say we're at the far reach. We're at the frontier. We're you are the at the, you are at the frontier, my friend. That is very true. But the sheriff's so, getting um, very fucking close. Exterminatus isn't on the cards unless we're nearby affecting systems and would cause more trouble. Mm -hmm. Quarantine, which is what they do for viruses. Uh, so anybody trying to leave gets just shot out the sky by a sky fortress. That, or because yes. you're a frontier and a lost colony planet, they just go... We'll leave them to their own devices. We'll leave them to their own devices. 200 years time, they'll starve themselves to death anyway. It's fine. Yeah. Well, you, you, yeah. We're not a problem yet. There's other major problems in the Imperium mm -hmm. that require the resources. There's so Yes, there's always... Some asteroid base at the frontier. I saw a great... There's a... One of the Hammer and Bolter episodes. I don't know if you've ever seen any of those. It's a great one, right? It features a... Um, Mechanicus... Uh, who is searching a planet that has been war-torn and ravaged by a bunch of orcs and she finds a single guardsman that is like camped out on the surface. Isn't this the third time you've told the story? I'd, I'd still, I like the story though, shut the fuck. And she goes, oh yeah, we, we won. And he goes, but, but there's still orcs here. And she goes, yes, but the number of orcs have been reduced to sufficient levels that it's actually more economic to just leave them here because the planet is ravaged. So it's no longer economically feasible to use it anymore. So we've just all the armies left. This is what victory looks like. And I'm like, ooh, you know. So yeah, that's uh So basically, you have to make it more economically viable for people not to turn up and ask questions about your station than In to turn up and ask questions. Imperium, that does make sense. They reduce the populace. That's going to take some considerable amount of time for a while to build up and cause ruckus. Yeah. So because economically, it's sustainable, and <coughs> resources and assets can go to another planet, planet that's got worse shit going. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Indeed. It, the Imperium doesn't micromanage. It just contains, cuts off, or moves on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Author of Yu-Gi-Oh has passed away. Fucking mm -hmm. yes. Oh, that's not a headline I thought I'd be freaking reading today. <laughs> Did anyone see the TikTok I posted? No. No. What? I actually posted it in Commune Gene. Oh. Look. <laughs> Grab Scallion. Yes. <laughs> Why does TikTok work fucking in bed properly? Because TikTok is a cursed platform. Yeah. People still use it. Weird. What TikTok? What, what TikTok? Oh. Oh, TikTok really doesn't embed properly. Sweet God. What is this? Where is this from? It's actually just TikTok. No, I mean the original video. Like, what was he? Like. Oh, no, that's, uh, that, that's not modest. No, what? it is! It is! That was him working the road one day. That was. I, I, I like, oh, quote, quote. Right, Yeah, that was actually Boris. I don't know what the context is where he's oh, shouting yeah, no, Scallion. I do remember why it was some article that he had, like, apprehended some, uh, vagabond Rapscallion. himself. It's so shit. What? <laughs> it's, yeah, it was years ago it was. Yeah. yeah. He, he went full, like, vigilante mode. Oh, and assaulted yeah, a guy. The reputation of doing stuff like that. When he used to cycle everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's when he was a for it was when he was a foreign secretary. Jesus Christ. Man, he really was fucked, wasn't he? Was? Yeah. I can't wait for his suicide. That'll come out tomorrow. Are oh, we talking Bojo? Yes, that'll be very funny. The, the, the men of Blackadder sketches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the her, 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 How do you think about them? Well, I think will go with his uh, resignation and then suicide. <laughs> well, we, we can do it to my darling. Yeah. Uh, air. Air. So... We have. Fuck you, Paul. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. What? 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 Oh, it's a point of oh god, what is this going to be now? Uh, fuck you, Paul. Get him out. Why is he so. Ooh. It's just the connotation of <laughs> Boris when he sees another Tory weaving with a bloody rap skeleton. <laughs> uh, I don't like the cup of it because of air jip. Okay. So. Uh, it is not long after uh, you drag these Inquisitors down here, Evangeline, that Odysseus joins you. Mm -hmm. So what would you like, both like to do? To these per individuals who are you interrogating first of all shall we say uh cyrus okay because i would like you to explain to me what you mean by investigation i would also like you to explain as to why bartholomew says he did not bring said disease or quote unquote cure as he calls it onto the station please elaborate please I do not know the true nature of this disease yet, only that it is only that it originates from the Xenos host, which is upon this station. I will need to investigate it in you order the to... Yes. The Patriarch is dead. That is good. The manifestation still lingers. It does. This needs to be excised. How do you plan on doing that? Through investigation. And an attempt at a cure at least. But if that does not happen, then the final solution. <laughs> she says that. She just straight up says that. I'm going to wear a stripy shirt. <laughs> The Arbiti, the Arbiti's shall. The, Are you recording this? Yes, I am. I shall have the Arbiti's board this station and read it. Hmm. Well, we have several other order families carting a cure at the moment. They're going to be doing so, and they're also going to look into the genetic code of each individual that comes to them, and if they are already infected. Well, they will apply it, however. You're if, attempting uh, to scan the genetic sequencing of every single man, woman and child upon this station? Not every single one. Just as many as we can do. And... That, unfortunately, is not enough. Would your solution be to uh, dispense cure? What? Aerosol? <laughs> an aerosolized an aerosolized cure would be the best and most efficient method yes it would also save every actual gene stealer on the station would it not that is where the astartes come in are they arbites last time the arbites were on the station they did not do a good job yes i agree can fucking paul skip this cunt Can we, so, like, this woman just is a literal Nazi, that's fine. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I, think I mean, yeah. Joe, Joe, you did, Joe, well done. You pegged, you pegged her off. Well done. Yeah, she is, I mean, she's a fascist, I'll tell you that. Well, everyone is. We're yes. all fascists here. Yeah, we're all fascists here, we're all good. What can I say, it's hot. She, 
I agree that the Astartes last time they were aboard the station RBTs. did not. Fuck. I agree that the RBTs that were upon the station last did not perform adequately. Indeed. And for that reason, I have no faith in them doing it again. You do not know the marshal that is travel that is travelling here. I do. Tell me about. Tell me about. Marshal Rodvar is a man without conscience. He so upholds the law to the highest degree, and he will slaughter every living being upon this station. If the need is met. And at this point. It looks like they need his metastartes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if the plague that Bothanmike introduced, as you claim, yet he disputes this, is allowed to run its course, there will be no need for the slaughter that the diabetes commits. Yes? Because everyone will be dead. Right? I do not know the nature of this plague. I have not studied it yet, but if I were to warrant, I do not think that the dead from this plague are the ones that are unlucky. Explain. How much do you know about the gene stealer virus? This plague upon our peoples? A rudimentary amount. The disease hides in the blood. It will stay there, dormant festering unless acted upon by a patriarch, a creature of a uh, massive mm. mind, which can influence creatures underneath it. If, and she just looks at uh, Evangeline, if they are allowed to breed, the virus distills like oil on top of water. Traits rise to the surface, purple skin, chitin beneath the, beneath the flesh throughout the generations down and down and down until more of them are born yes yes and the hospitalers are working on a cure for the virus that is infesting the meat produced by grinder 12 it is my belief that the virus that has infested the meat on grinder 12 and the genes to their plague are one and the same Inquisition, Mechanicus, Biologus, many have worked on a cure for this plague through centuries. None have been successful. It is my hope that I am incorrect in this assumption and that there will be a cure found for whatever this actually is. But if I am correct, then the people on this station are beyond salvation. Right. So, how about this? You will be kept alive, you'll be abandoned, treated well. Lena, you will not come after any of the Mikado. None of the men and women that I've worked with you will hinder in any way, hold no vendetta against. For the simple fact, for fear, you are a heretic. The idea that you would dispense a cure for the entire station and therefore save everyone, including the chip stealers. I've known the one who stabbed you. He would do anything to kill them all. Anything. You did enough to scare him. Second point. You will allow the hospitaler to actually work on a cure. If one can be found, it will not be dispensed via aerosol, it will be dispensed one at a time. You would like to fact. begin to administer this specifically to individuals, because that is all you'd be doing. Yes. For the simple fact that we, if we were to not do so, then anyone who is already a, a gene stealer, well, why would we cure them? They would simply be escorted into a room. 
I'd rather walls would open up and there would be flamers on the other side. For, forgive me, Astartes, but you are falling into the same trap that the Arbites that came to the station previously fell into. You are falling into the trap of mercy. Then say this doesn't work. That there is no cure. <coughs> that it's all pointless. The Arbites are going to come and they will mass slaughter everyone anyway. So I'd ask you, what's the harm? An attempt can be made. Any attempt to understand whatever this is, is valiant. I will, if you provide me the tools, I will attempt to assist with the production of a cure. But I'm not going to be able to do it from within here, and I can make no promises. Look to Evangeline. You know Fabian better than anyone else here. How capable do you think she is of finding a cure? Fabian is certainly most capable of dealing with something so unknown. Any help is appreciated. Allow me to ruminate on this, because of One of the elucidation, though. Why did Bartholomew and his ilk bring the Gene Steel Patriarch here? It appears that they wanted to research it. We are able to stop them from pursuing such research. Would your order not find this information valuable? Researching the gene stealer in order to find a cure. Ignorance is a bastion of the mind, Astartes. There are things that man is not supposed to know. I believe different. I believe that knowledge is power. Or should be guarded well. She 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 looks at you and she gives like a half smile. My chapters prided ourselves on knowledge, the gathering and the securing of it. I would not see it thrown away so easily. At the very least, kept away from the kneeling masses. Your chap, <laughs> you really are deaf that different after all. Excuse me. Amongst the chapters, I didn't realise that there was such a big difference. We put ourselves on the uniqueness. Like I said, let me to ruminate, because up. Back to you in a few hours. I'll leave. Okay. Uh, the door shuts. Mm -hmm. And, uh, from the other side of the hallway, you hear a different voice. I would tread carefully if I were you. Do I hear this or does Evangeline hear this? Uh, I would imagine both of you would hear this if you're outside in the hallway. Uh, and what's that? You hear like a sort little thud as he like as uh, Bartholomew like, hits up against the door, his face pressed against the bars, the small great bars, it was the station must keep running the Astartes the station is the most important thing of all I've been speaking of riddles since we first found you I wonder if I rip off the other arm it Maybe, just maybe, you'll start speaking clearly. Ancient decrees prevent me from saying much more, but what I will say, even on pain of death, but what I will say is, there is a reason why the Arbites were merciful before. Make sure you do not suffer the same fate as their marshal. 
And you hear this like this soft sh sound as he begins sliding down the door to sit at the edge. Just turn, look down at Evangeline. <sighs> Fucking hate the Inquisition. <laughs> Lee. Wonderful. <laughs> Alrighty. So, baby, what would y'all like to do? You've given her a couple. You've given her a time scale of like a couple of hours. So, yeah, I would like to ruminate. <coughs> I'd like to be in <coughs> well. <laughs> Safe enough distance from the Baron, but at least make him never visit. <laughs> He's got the fucking plane as well. Kill him. I oh, know, right? Fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> the plane was quick. <coughs> Blood <coughs> upon you. No. Welcome to Hell and Driver. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <sighs> oh, fuck me, man. Still got some venison in your lungs there, buddy. Oh! Oh, <laughs> the pain. This jewel. This jewel hits different, man. Oh, shit. Been snorting fucking emeralds, mate. Yes, my dear? <laughs> the wrong jewel. Jesus Christ! Uh, what the, the fucking. The fuck did that go? What the fuck was that? I don't know, you missed! What the fuck is he doing? Those are supposed to be lozenges. His best. Jesus, Paul, you're pulling that fucking can right out of my goddamn ass. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I might quickly grab something else as well. Hold on. Okay. Because I'm a fucking poser. Ooh. Would you mind getting me a cup of tea, honey? Thank you, dear. <coughs> <laughs> oh, can you fucking close Pam it, please? You fucking head. No, fucking close fist it. Jesus fuck. That's better. <coughs> Nathan, you would literally tell someone saving your life, giving you CPR, how to give CPR. Yeah, I would. You know why? Because I'm a, I'm a designated first aider, mate. Thank you, my dear. Does that actually work? <sighs> Well, but yeah. Do I need to punch, punch you every time you go to a coffee pit? I mean, that stuff. Oof. <laughs> oh, please no. Ah, uh, excuse me. Sorry there, guys. And that's how you get this out when there's divorce. Record or kicking you in the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I had a, if I had a pound for every time Cece's kicked me in the back, I would have like five pounds, which isn't a lot, but it's surprising that it's happened that many times. But if you had the camera rolling while she did it. Oh, would you? Ooh, wonderful. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Hold on. No, no way. <laughs> what? What? What have you done? Oh no. Do you know how the current of Yu-Gi-Oh died, Sean? The, the, the... Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Maybe but do you know how? I do not know how. He was found dead in a snorkeling accident. The ghost of Steve Irwin strikes again! This is the most random fucking bullshit I've. <laughs> 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 I've never seen. Watch out for them. <laughs> so, what happened to you today? Ah, oh, I found out the curly of, of Yu Gi Oh died in a snorkeling accident. A man wearing snorkel equipment was found floating off the coast of Nagu City. He was found face down in defense mode. Oh, oh fuck you, yeah, yeah, that's funny. Oh man, let's see. Uh... Oh. 
Ah, uh, is Joe back yet? Nope. Oh, goddamn. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, damn, man. Hey, Jesus Christ, bud, you alright? Having a rough time. What's wrong? <laughs> Fuck, it's still got a cough from COVID, mate. You didn't have COVID. Fucking felt like COVID and it tested like COVID and it quacked like COVID, man. <laughs> Can you prove it's COVID, but? I've got a couple of tests on it. I don't think so. How are you doing? I guess my butt. I'm back. Hello, I'm Habibi. Back. Oh, man. No. I really need to get a second webcam, man. Mm. You know why? Because I got this on my floor. Yeah! Oh, look at a little tiny baby girl. Mm hmm. <laughs> Mine's outside. Okay. So, uh, yes, you were ruminating now, I believe, everybody. Oh, I yes. am. Oh, yeah. So, we got Odysseus ruminating. What's everybody else doing? At a rather comfortable distance, I think it'd be best if I... Uh, one noble to another... Decide to visit the Baron behind a protective sheen. Show of good faith. And be friends <coughs> and all. Right. I had to meet with his staff, at least the ones that aren't infested with this, <laughs> this blightful pock. Oh, hang on. The cat wants out. God damn it. So, in this situation, you can once again return to the capital spire of the uh, station. Uh, up, up, up you go. And instead of the Baron, you are met with a, another individual. A quite snooty young fellow. Calls himself by the name of Marcus. He goes, I'm terribly sorry, my lord. Uh, the Baron has taken quite poorly of late. And, uh, however, I will be able to assist you with any uh, requirements that you need. Oh, that's quite all right. Of course, yes, I understand. This this blightful plague, of course, has been, mm. uh, has been wrecking havoc on us all. Mm. Well, Only the lower but, classes. Uh, well, even still, the fact that the Baron is also ill with it, he has our thoughts and prayers. Oh, the Baron does not have the plague, sir. Wait, what? The Baron does not oh. have the plague. No, the Baron is simply taken of a small consumptive episode. He'll be quite all right in, re in, in, in due course. And uh, you can make me a... Uh, deception check, please. Just for canon, yeah, I'm still following and watching. Uh, oh, sorry, no, uh, deception. Insight. Insight, sorry, insight, not deception. No, insight, sorry. I'm making the deception roll. And that's when you need a second camera. Uh, yes, he is lying to you. The Baron definitely has a plague. But he is attempting to make it sound or look like uh, he does not. He's like, don't worry, look. he doesn't have AIDS. He's just got a fever. He's got HIV, he doesn't have AIDS. Yeah, <laughs> worry exactly. about it. He's choosing to wear a skull cap. He doesn't, <laughs> he's not going under fucking oh. chemo. <laughs> oh. Exactly. Look, I understand, of course. He can borrow... <laughs> He can borrow one of my wigs and a bit of my bit, bit, bit of my makeup if he wants to increase his pallor, but let's be honest here. He has it. It's why I'm here. Show good faith, but also make sure that well, as you know, his most loyal servants here and there are actually doing their emperor given duty. It'd be a shame if this actually got off station now, wouldn't it? You know their old line, I don't need to tell you about all of this. But point is the Baron is a bit of a friend of mine, one that I made, you know, in a tenure of my time here. Though I will not see him in person, I may be a noble, but I'm not quite an idiot about what the, the peasants think we are, right? But at the end of the day, I just want to know how the household is actually going so I can make further plans and make sure that yourselves and the rest, of course, of the household is reimbursed 
or at least in good standing once the, well, the situation evolves, which is a deception check. Uh, okay, you're making a deception check. I was going to say you can make a deception or cunning, because I don't know, no, I suppose you are lying to him, yeah. Uh, because, uh, okay, so you can shift one of those for more information if you so choose. Because you literally you. rolled three sixes, you fucking lunatic. <coughs> I can't shoot shit, but goddamn, can I lie? Thank you, my darling. Sorry, I just. <laughs> I can't shoot anything, fart. but I can tell you. I thought I did. you didn't hear me come in. Thank you, my dear. You can't shoot anything, but you can shoot the shit. Uh, Marcus leans forward and goes, Would you like to talk in the Baron's office, sir? Yes, please. Oh, but of course. Uh, he offer, ushers you in quickly, and uh, as soon as he does, he unbuttons the top button of like he's got like one of these really high collars, which uh, wraps all the way around. He just unbuttons a couple of those, and he is sweating. This man is stressed. Lay your fears, he, my boy. I, I, have to, I have to say, that the Baron does in fact appear to have the plague. Um, it's a uh, the Medicaids are attending him at the moment. It appears that he did, in fact, contract it from the, the same sources that have been previously reported. He, the Baron always ate what the commoners ate. Um, I think it's from his time in the Navy that he picked that up. Uh, but he's, it's, 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 it seems that he has fallen into some kind of stupor or miasma. He, he is not, he's, not, he's, not a, he's not responding to any, anything anymore. He's not, he's a bit, oh, I'm at my wit's end. I'm at my wit's end! He's, he's just <laughs> fluttering his my, shirt. I'm gonna place a hand on his shoulder and just say, Look, and lay your fears, of course. Sadly, consumption strikes the best of us. There's no say for certain that he ex exactly has what these commoners have. <coughs> but even still, even if he does, we all know that priority is key. I'm no courage in myself, but even still. I do understand the necessity for, well, maintaining a, an image, as it were. Look, the Baron, the Baron's condition, do you know of if, if the population, if any of the commoners know of, you know, how severe he actually is ill? Oh, or do they just think he has a case of consumption or just in, in, uh, buried under work? This is, this is need to know basis that very few people know about this so even amongst the household uh, we have managed at this point to keep it a very low profile indeed that's very wise especially for the especially for the arbetes coming i mean good good oh, lord imagine that but listen <clears throat> what is your official title there steward i am the chamberlain of the house so I, 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 I'm essentially a, a, the equivalent to a ship's quartermaster. I, I make do, I make uh, sense of the master, of the baron's duties. I, 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 I take care of the day-to-day -day running, and uh, I, I, I organize the uh, ion refineries. Really, well, <clears throat> given the situation, given his condition, a cure will definitely be on the way. And naturally, of course, from what I can tell, <coughs> praising the way things are, you, you know how it is. He'll be getting a priority cure in that regard, that's for certain. But in the meantime, mm -hmm. we'd still need to continue to keep this on the hush-hush. Can I count on you He's like, and the rest of the household <sighs> in order to not only keep his operations, but of course, keep the operations of the other members of the... Of the, of the reach, as it were, as it were, under the radar of the commoners. We, uh, if need be, if the abatis do come, and if they do have a whiff of heresy, I don't need to tell you, they'll be in here with exterminator rounds, let alone regular oh, I, shot. Oh, I, I, I remember, I remember the last uh, abatis purge. Such yeah, terrible it's... business. <coughs> Our productions fell to such low levels. Oh, truly. But what if we didn't need production to go to low levels? Oh? What if we could continue afterwards? Um, 
The Baron, of course, ideally will be here, but for the meantime, you again, you are Chamberlain. You probably know the other major domos and other heads of heads of a household. Uh, again, until he's given a cure, I need to count on you to make sure that any signs of corruption, any signs of disease, any signs of anything out of the ordinary is swept under the rug until we can actually figure out a way to resolve all this. <coughs> I'm Just going to give you my I'm going to give you my Vox frequency. Let me know if anything let me know if anything adapts, anything evolves from the situation. Anything that happens, any change you need to make through me, I shall make sure that everything goes as smoothly as possible, I, but at the same time I need to know what happens. you I remember you, you're um uh, the Viscount Zephaniah, Harold, yes? Yes, the ninth. Uh, long line. Yes, the um, the the Baron's friend I I apologize, I did not recognize you so so soon. I will, I I will see what I can do. I, I try. I, we need as many friends as we can in this situation, and I think someone of your, of course, your pala would be, certainly be able to assist. If there's any way I can assist, just let me know. Mm, of course. But in the meantime, understand that a friend to another, that we need to, again to keep this under under control. Yeah, because if we don't control the station, then. Well, you have fresh memories of the Arbutines, and <coughs> I've only heard rumours myself. I'd rather that didn't happen to this blessed place that I've considered my home for the last few years. Mm -hmm. Indeed, of course. Uh, I will be in touch if any if it, this situation uh, changes, especially for your friend. Oh, my greatest thanks. Emperor bless you. The Emperor protects. Okay. So, would you like to do anything else with your fucking scheming and conniving? Can't grab a taco, so, um... <coughs> I would also... <coughs> I am paranoid. You are paranoid, I'd like a, yes. I would like, I'd like to make a call. <laughs> Is my smoke going into your lungs? <laughs> I don't I do not know. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm seeing emanations! Uh, <laughs> Ooh, visions of aristocracy. Uh, who, 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 who would you who would you like to make a call to? Someone, someone who can get their hands on a ship, just in case. <coughs> someone who can get their hands on a ship, just in case. Well, or at least any anyone who's going to be outgoing. Before, during, or after the Abbotees get here. To hold... One, two, three, four, five... Seven people. Okay. Right. So... Oh, I was going to say, question for the narrative. Mm -hmm. Am I overhearing this? How could you be I, overhearing I don't this? Know, are you? Because <laughs> my sole purpose was following Joe. Oh. To make sure you didn't stab or attack anybody. <coughs> if anything, I'm ensuring your safety. If that, if that is the case, I'm going to need a stealth from you, please, my friend. Fuck okay, sure. me, man. Are you okay? <coughs> I'm doing pizza. <coughs> Uh, I think your peach is busted sell by date there, buddy. Oh, oh, Seven sweet degrees. fuck! Seven degrees of success. Um, would you like to contest that, Giuseppe? No, I'd like to see how this goes. Uh, uh, so how are you following him? Are you uh dressing differently, or are you fucking going through vents sna like snake style? What's happening here? Um, narratively speaking, mm -hmm. right, so he's made it into the Baron's occupation. Yes, uh, so Central Spire. I would think they would know that I was one of the aides. Yes. Or frequently visited. Yes. The aid of the Baron. Yes, you're on the white list. Right here. Is there any blacklist areas that I need to uh, come up a narrative to get in? Because I do have one. Oh, what do you have for me? No, I'm just asking, is there any whitewashed areas? 
Well, you have, you've been given access to his office previously, but only because he was in there. So I would say yeah. probably to the uh, Baron's own personal abodes. Which is where uh, uh, Zephaniah and Marcus had their conversation. So if you wanted to get in there, uh, you would probably have to be looking through some kind of fucking grate or something in the ceiling because you're not standing in the same room as them and them just not noticing you. Eased up through the door. Okay. So are you just going to attempt to just stand there? Um. Oh, if... The idea was that if he actually went in to see the Baron, mm -hmm. if the guy challenged me, if he caught me, I would pull out one of the inquisitorial rosettes from, you know, one of the people Ooh. that I have absconded it from and just went. Ooh. Interesting. No, I believe that was actually a piece of war gear. Let me just double check. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm going to need a intimidation, please, with plus one dice. <coughs> plus one dice. <coughs> yep. Thank you. Are you seriously okay? I don't. I don't know, man. Oh, fuck! He's coughing up chunks of deer. Doctor, what's that? Four. All right, yeah. You see, uh, you see an aide like coming up to you. And, like, Excuse me, sir. Can I help you? And then you turn around with your fucking death mask and your body glove, and you just go, I just hold out this rosette completely silently, and he goes, okay, and then just turns around and just starts walking away. No body glove. Oh. What do you have? I'm wearing oh, you're wearing your murder power armor, <laughs> with bullet holes in it, and fucking blood stains. Okay. So you go, Choo -junk, choo -junk, and he goes, nope, and fucking rotates and walks away. It's Good just job. along the lines of like that and that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, from that point onwards, people start to avoid you. So yes, uh, you can listen to this if you so choose. As a fight, I'm guard posted outside the door, but I'm listening. Listening in, okay. Mm -hmm. So... Steph and I, you have your entire conversation and exit the room. Is there anything else you would like to do? I've exited the room. Do I have no disclave right there? Uh, I'm not hiding anymore. <coughs> uh, then, I, then I take think you would, yeah. <coughs> so I'm just distracted <laughs> by... <laughs> by Paul's drink, but <laughs> it's disappearing can. Ah, uh, beautiful. <clears throat> I said what to say, I go, ah. Oh. Glad to see, glad to see you care. Always, I take it the Baron as well. Uh, well enough. So we get his plague under wraps, the better, right? Indeed, but I fear it will not come to so. Well, of course. I mean, I understand my blade has taken as many lives as yours, but even still, his is one throat I think we should both spare for the meantime. But why am I telling you this? Well, either way, we've perhaps got a way off this place should things hit the fan. Will you join me in continuing the Emperor's divine will? If this place is to be doomed, I wouldn't want you to <coughs> Not for my sake, for you, your own. You obviously have more... Well, more... Top of the Emperor's life in this place. I go where purpose has taken us. And the only purpose I see left... Is the one... Given to the Angel. Mm -hmm. We have found the crate, we have found Inquisitors. It has become a horrible mess. The Abitis will come and clean this place up. But there is a purpose to be had in this sector. That is why the Angel is here. So if you have means of transport, could aid us in aiding the Angel. I may very well. I thank you very much for your discretion. And of course, your loyalty to the 
Well, past all this, the true cause, let's be honest. Can I ask, why do you lash out at times? Hmm? You know, and I pull out my little blade, throwing knife and mimic. Why? <clears throat> Put it this way. If a, if a limb is gangrenous, you have it removed, but why have a limb removed when you can just remove a digit? The more loose ends there are, the harder it is to clean up. The more sources of the rot there is, the more you lose. I stab... because I don't think any of us Myself included, should lose a limb over something you can just keep on such a low level as a simple as a simple segment of a digit. If you're referring, if you're referring to the taco shop, of the limb? no, I'm referring to the removing of the limb. Oh, that's one. Yes, <laughs> the literal referring to the limb, the removing of the limb. The others I understand. You wanted to hide in shadow. This I understand, but the one in open, why did you remove the limb? We're all too far in this together to actually turn back. And when it comes to actually doing the Emperor's will, doing the right thing, it's best if she's not part of it. Have it her, have her, her way. Though she talked about wasted time and missions and whatnot, it hasn't got us anything but more death, disease, rot, turmoil, and as we've seen, an entire Xenos cult operating under the guise of actual Imperial authority. <coughs> My connections to it or not, it does not really matter. The it's point a, is, have, uh, have, it, have, it, have it her way, this will spread for the entire, not only this station, but the entire sector. Give these... it his way. <laughs> these these drug dealers have gone too far. Now the fact I deal meth has nothing to do with it. <laughs> Kill any uh, man, woman, and child to get the peace I need. Effectively, yes. So you would choose the other, or choose none at all? <clears throat> choose one until the use usefulness comes out. I mean, would you still use a hammer if it were broken? Some people do, but they expect the hammer to never return. Indeed. To which you just get another hammer. Exactly. Again, I know this well. So you understand I'd rather, fitch, I'd rather <coughs> fix the your truth before just moving along and going to where I'm needed. Like yourself. No. I think that's fine. <laughs> to me, both hammers are broken. <laughs> So Nathan, why not replace? Why, why no. <laughs> <laughs> so why not use one that works? Do you know such a hammer? I do. Neither the Xenos nor the Inquisition have said hammer, but I certainly believe in my heart in my heart of hearts. If we are to make it through this and continue our good work, this damnable place be damned, then we can make a true, permanent and prosperous difference. It's bigger than either of us, bigger than my relations, bigger than your, bigger than your own sect. To what of you speak, though? I suggest that we get rid, get rid of this curse ASAP as soon as possible, as we as much as we can, thorough as we can. At the same time, it'll give us quite a lot of benefits here and there. I mean, it's no secret I went to actually schmooze the household, as it were. But even still, talk with them, understanding them, understanding their plight, it means that now we have perfectly secured friends in high place it means we can actually do the job we need to do. If we're have to we do that... Been... Hmm? Have we not been doing this job, though? Look around. Is this place any better than when we found it? 
people dying in the streets, overtly, as opposed to the usual rot. I would say no. It's stayed the same since I arrived. Oh, yes. Manufactorums tend to be like this. So That's why we have Xeno race. Yes, complacency can be a cancer. But what if we could actually come to some kind of understanding to make sure that this doesn't happen again? Without needing to eradicate everybody. And coming out the other side, much better where so we can actually continue our mission. What is our mission? Our mission is done. We found crates, we found inquisitors. So what f the only mission I see left is one of the angels. Perhaps my hours and the angels intertwine. What is the angel's main mission? What is I his don't vision? know. He you was sent know. out here to find something. It seems all we've been doing is trying to find things. <laughs> Along the way we killed Xenos, which is in the Emperor's service, but... I know little things of governing but i do know people live and they die and the status quo stays the same but right now all i can see is that the status quo is slightly tipping and if abitis come here and see plague it will definitely tip what do you want to find glaive And just like walk off to the side and go. <laughs> divinity. Then divinity you shall have. <laughs> but we can't let the heathens below get in the way of imperfection. Including the Xenos, including the Dross. Do you see anything divine about what we've had to wade through these past few days? Yeah, it's not any different in any other sector or anything that I haven't encountered before. Exactly. <coughs> which is why you haven't found divinity yet. Which is why you're still searching. So help me help you search for it. But I am not the one searching. I am the one looking to be found. By... That I do not know. Him? The angel? A true Perhaps. calling or purpose? Perhaps. I think we should reconvene with the others. Maybe we, we should. We can see how... The cure coming. Indeed. We'll also see how much blood needs to be washed off our hands until we can finally find cleanliness. This no our we... will is good. As long as it's the blood of the heretics, we are always pure. In which case we're both aligned. I want this entire sex this curse lifted. Purged. That doesn't mean the innocent have to die in a way. If blood is the Emperor's currency, why squander the blood of the innocent, right? But to die in service of the Emperor is to be divine. Why would you waste the Emperor's currency so wantonly? It is an honor. It's a cost like any other. Honorable or not. Will the Arbites see that? <coughs> Will the Ecclesiarchy see that? They will see it in their own way. As they shall. As they always have. It's coming to us. I back into that. We weed down the corridor and make our way back to the Ecclesiarchy. I heard a lot of typing during that. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> Do we have it's like we used to. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, 
Any who? So, you were attempting to find the ship, yes? Yeah, it's Indeed I was, yes. So. <coughs> uh, <coughs> to do that, you would have to go to the actual docking bays of this station, which are essentially around and nearby the uh, Catherine Wheel uh, fucking stock and trade. Whatever, what's it called again? The... Do, 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 do. The really Catherine Wheel Shipping Yard and Port. Yes, that is uh, where you would have to go for that. Owned by the family. It'd be fine. So, this, one's a bit less. this would be a return to Lady Catherine Wheel, the most infuriating uh, administratum worker you have ever fucking met in your entire life. Taking that, going over there, you see that, once again, this area is just a bunch of fucking large cargo crates which are being moved back and forward and you see that there are in fact two ships in dock at the moment inquiring do the administratum uh, workers you can uh, quite easily I'll just give you this for free you can tell that these ships are called the Katazi and the Armani. Further information shall have to be uh, deciphered. Cunning or insight? I would Sweet. say that insight would work as would persuasion. As would actual um, influence as well. As in an actual requisition check. <coughs> Oh lord. All to do for acquisition. So that would be an actual requisition rule. So that is an attributes. Oh. Uh you see where you have influence on under attributes. One moment. Widdly wee, widdly wee, widdly so widdly influence wee. test yes, do, yes. influence test not likely for you. Because you do not have very high influence. The glaive, I think. Fair enough. I I mean your base influence is like what? Fellowship minus one? With a minimum of one, but you also have a bunch of shit which reduces your influence as well, due to the fact that you're a disgusting gene stealer. Me. And Glaive is like not friendly at all, so I don't think your fellowship is very high either. So it may instead just be a cunning or a persuasion. No. Cunning, I do get a bonus for. Yes, you do. Or investigation, actually. Investigation would actually work as well. Uh, different th things will give you different results. You'd like an investigation? Mmm. My word. Nah, flat three. Flat three. So in this uh, pursuit, you, uh, they like just requesting uh, articles from the administratum, which work through the Catherine Wheel shipyard. Uh, that both the Armani and the Canto. Did I say Canto? Yes. Uh, sure. The Armani and the Canto are both uh, imperial uh, economic ships, trading ships, which are travelling from outside the subsector into the subsector. However, they were both set to leave here at least uh, a couple of days ago. One of them set to leave in the next week, one of them was set to leave a couple of days ago. Neither of them are prepared to do so anymore. Oh, why? Uh, at the very bottom of the page for the actual uh, like transmit of trade, you see that there is a big red stamp which uh, says by order of our Ordos Adeptus uh, Arbites and interdiction order. The ships are being prevented from leaving by the Arbites. I see. These ones in particular? Yes. Well, these are the only two ships which are currently uh, docked on the station. Now, by uh, like the, the these are like 
Imperial Commerce ships. So these are void capable, uh, warp capable ships. Which one's the fastest of the two? Are they both identical? Uh, hmm. They're not identical to do that. Um, you, may, you might be able to scroll your way into talking to these individual, to the uh, captains of these ships. They are essentially merchant frigates or uh, freight, freighter ships, essentially. Traveling through the warp, I don't think you've ever traveled through the warp, but the, probably from knowledge, uh, things don't tend to arrive when you expect them to. So travel through the warp is kind of a, it's, it's unpredictable. If you know Can what I, mean. I look on the console to see if traveling within the sector is still permissible? Uh, traveling through no, uh, these ships are prevented from undocking, disembarking, right. disembarking. They are prevented from disembarking. So these what ships. Short -range oh, there's craft. a lot of there's a lot of short range craft and patrol craft which are quite ready to like. Potter around. Uh, the ships look essentially like these, by the way. <coughs> I make a note. So there are some short range craft, there are patrol craft and the like, which patrol the subsect, that patrol the system, uh, which are void capable, yes, but not warp capable, so they will not be able to travel outside of this system. Uh, you also have things like the hauler, that small little hauler vehicle, which is uh, used to like pick up a cargo container transport it to another area in system or transport it, for example, from the station to a ship which is in orbit of the station. So that's the thing that Bartholomew used to take the container out of the shipyard, move it over to the ship on the other side of the station. I make note of the ones that are able to travel within the sector. Oh yeah, there's quite there's yeah, quite a number of weed in the sector. You've I system I mean, not sector. So I mean the solar system that you're currently on. All right. Sector is more sector. Pressure. The sub the subsector you're in is the Fractus subsector, which has quite a number of stars in it and planets, but requires a uh, the ability to travel through the warp in order to get to them. So that requires a bigger ship. Yeah. But if you wanted to make it to a different planet. There's too many abilities don't blow us out of the water, as it were. Yes, there are a couple of planets in this system which you may be able to travel to. Mm. If you so like. I <clears throat> go and make my way to the Ecclesia and mm -hmm. to deliver this information to DCs. <coughs> okay. I remain. You remain, okay? <clears throat> Why do you remain? He's going to abscond, is it not obvious? Are you absconding? <laughs> not quite. <laughs> I get in a ship and I fuck off. <laughs> Simple as. Simple as, yes. Simple as. <laughs> I believe a phrase will be... Slightly more maneuverable than the other one, at least less conspicuous, right? And for us all, right? Um, I mean, these these freighters are miles long. Like these are yeah. massive ships. These are designed to transport the entire yearly produce of an entire planet from one place to another. Maneuverable is not a word that I would use to describe them. They fly in the same way that bricks don't. <laughs> right. Like they are, they are lightly armored. They are lightly weaponed. They are used base to. They are. They are. Yeah, their base function. They are used to fly within, at least nominally protected, like systems. Like you're not flying one of these things into a war zone. This is not a no. rogue trader ship. Rogue trader ships are much more heavily armored, much more heavily armed, capable of exploring wilderness space. These things are not. This is a fucking post vox. This is a post van. This ain't no shadow of intent. This ain't no shadow of intent. This ain't your daddy's shadow of intent. <laughs> it's the bus. Yeah, this is the McGill's bus. Uh, 
the main concern is mm -hmm. if we if, if we're seen by our teams, we're all pretty much dead. Right. Well, we can guarantee that. Now, if you stand behind the big armored one, <laughs> that has well, yes. a set of blood ravens. And a starties, yeah, they can survive a vacuum of space for a bit, yeah. Mm hmm. But what if we could have a ship draw fire and embark without us on it while we find some way else to get off? Or would you rather, of course, find a different way to. Why am I saying this? You know, out, out of character, you guys are in the same room as me. Wave's gone, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just <coughs> alone talking to myself. <laughs> hmm. Think away. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to approach one of the captains. Captain of the... Neither of them really matter, they're both pretty much the same. You know you want to go for the Armani. You know you want to go for the Armani. Of course, that darling, they make my suits. But yes. The other one, the other one says B&G. Let's go the Armani's captain. So, uh, the, ca the Armani's captain is actually a, in the actual uh, Catherine Wheel. Uh, he is currently arguing with Lady Catherine Wheel herself. In which he, by which, by arguing, I mean he is yelling at her, and she is ignoring him. What is he yelling? It's like I can't. I don't care about no bloody interdiction order. I have fifteen thousand metric tons of grain in that hold that I have to get to the triumvirate within the year. So you make the paper look the way the paper looks. And I can get off this godforsaken station before I... Hello? Hello? And he's like fucking waving his hand in front of her face. And she she looks she looks up at him and she like gets her hand and she just goes and pushes him to the side and beckons over another one of the administratum, gives him some orders, and then like he just fucking shuffles back into place as soon as she leaves her hand away. See here, Lady, Lady Catherine, have you not actually heard... Why, 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 is, why is this man's uh, ship not embarking already? And why if am I here in person having to tell you that it's sh he should be heading off <coughs> in the next few hours? An official interdiction order has been ordered by the Ad 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 Adeptus Arbites. I'm aware of the interdiction, but are you actually aware of this actual... Are you aware of the fact that this man is exempt? Are you aware of the exemption because of the natural grain supply we actually actually has to make it to the hive? Look, there's a shortage down there, and they've given the marshal himself has told me, close friend by the way, that, <laughs> that, <laughs> that this, this, this man's ship is supposed to be making his way down. If you're going to stop this Armani class from getting there, there's going to be hells to pay. I don't need to tell you about red tape, I can tell you very much that it's going to be very, very hard for us all if this does not carry on as seen fit if you don't let him do his checks and perhaps embark in the next few hours. I'm going to need a deception, please. Because that is a lot of lies which just <laughs> happened there. Yeah. If that's not enough, I'll try it. I'll try it again. Would you like to use any uh, wrath to re-roll your failures? Yeah, that's 5d6. I would indeed, yes. So roll 5d6, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Fuck me. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 degrees of success. I mean, if that's not gonna do it, let me just fucking check what the what the equivalent to that is. In terms of like, <laughs> she gives you her job. Uh, 
<laughs> All her money and her kid's college fund. Let me just double check something here. Don't, 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 don't bear with me. Alright, gives, gives you a granddad's <laughs> shares. A husband's house. <laughs> God. Uh, attributes and skills. <laughs> Mm. However, see here, young lady. Do you know who I am? I'm always going to burn down your house of lemons. A difficulty nine deception check is declare yourself the rightful new sovereign planetary governor of a hive world. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're Not getting yet. you're getting close. <laughs> you're getting close there, buddy. <laughs> <coughs> what will it take to push over the edge? Um, she looks at you, and her two luminous eyes blink. I was I was unaware that there was such an inter there was such a antithony to the de to the interdiction order. My apologies. She yeah, just turns to the cap, and he just like blinks. Yes. Your delivery to the plant of Inctus has been granted. Please, finish with refueling. So he, he, he like blinks for a second as she like starts stamping paperwork to give to him and we're talking like a sheet of paperwork and he goes, who the bloody hell are you? Your new benefactor and myself and my very worthy patrons will be uh, jo perhaps joining you as well in the next couple of hours. I need to tell you about this whole invasion arm. It's, it's, it's been a calamity for us all. But either way, we are late to be where we need to be, and you're heading where we need to be. You see, we can put two and two together in this regard. At the same time, I hate seeing a loyal servant of the Emperor, and indeed a man of money, being stopped from get making his daily gelt. Oh, he, he, he takes off his flat cap. He's wearing a flat cap. And he goes, well, it's a, it's a pleasure to meet you, my lord. My name's Arthur. Well, likewise, Arthur, I'm the Viscount Zephaniah Herald for Ninth. I... You can call ah. me Zeph... You, you, can, you, can, you can call... You, Viscount works for me. Of course, Viscount. It's, if, if you're looking for passage to the Triumvirate, I can certainly help you with that. Especially since we're going to be... Got, as soon as we're finished off, uploading, we're going to be setting off now that we got rid of that interdiction order. Oh, of course. It's very much appreciated as well. But listen, I, again, I am expecting quite a few members of my uh, rogues gallery, as it were. Uh, business partners, associates, whatnot. Even uh, even, even quite a few uh, members of the uh, Holy Order. Can you imagine? Your trade is almost, I'd say, a, sac a sacred duty to the Emperor. Nevertheless, there are a few things I need to make sure are sorted again. Friends of the High Marshal himself, or my jazz, don't need to brag. I need to do some paperwork on my uh, my end, but at the same time, you are as good as gold to head off as long as myself and my party are also there. If not, and you leave, well, uh, I can't really stop you, perhaps, but at the same time, it's going to be hard without my say-so. You're free to go, but let's be honest, uh, if, if such a piece of red tape here can be, well, seen as wanting and bind us both, and all that required is a bit of dialogue to make sure misunderstanding goes in the way. Imagine what it'd be like without my skills of dialogue if you were to go alone. He, he, like, he nods for that. Uh, can you give me a leadership, please, with two extra dice? Oh, thank you. Because fucking, that's not bad. Thank you. <laughs> and... Oh, wonderful. So that is a total of how many dice? That's another good boy point, <clears throat> first of all. I like to think that will do it. Seven, eight. Would you like to expend one of those for some additional information? What information can I get? Uh, 
mm, you can he can give you a kind of overview of where he's going if you like but he kind of i think he kind of gets a sense that you know where you're going anywhere so, but here <laughs> anywhere but here i suppose yeah but uh, well, of course uh, we're, we're going to be docking at, uh, we're going to be docking at incas uh the Fo forge world incas first uh, just to offload this grain and then we'll see where we can go from there that we very much appreciate it either way. Galahad, yeah. of course, I don't need to tell you. It's it's getting in the way of progress. It's a, it's a funny station. I'm just... Uh, oh, truly. I'm, not gonna lie. I'm just happy it's here. It's, it's not often you get to see a refueling station this far into the black. I imagine so. But who wants to be stuck at a refueling station, am I right? Very <laughs> true. Especially not, true with, especially not with what I hear is coming. Ah, oh, but he's, eh? It's... The, em the Emperor's mercy, of course, comes in many forms, but not when it comes to pious members of the, of the, of the community like yourself and mine. Suffer, it's... No, suffer not the heretic, but suffer not the punishment. Of course. I'll, 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 start, getting set, I'll start getting set up, and uh, if, you are, if you and your friends are able to stop off at the ship, I'd uh, happily make you some room. But of course, do you have a frequency I can also communicate, just so we can keep things speedily along? Oh, uh, yeah, he's, he takes a fucking Vox thing and he fucking plugs in the frequency for his ship. If you, you're now able to contact the Armani. Delighted. Thank you so very much, Arthur. Captain. Yeah, once again, he fucking puts his flat cap. Puts on, puts on his tweed waistcoat. And he oh, fuck, 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 get, picks up all his fucking paperwork quite snoodily off of the table of Lady Catherine Wheel and uh, upon turning uh, accidentally knocks over one of her ink pots and uh, off he fucking goes. <laughs> all over a keyboard. All over a keyboard and she just goes <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> That's the noise she makes specifically. Yeah, your, 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 your mic itself shot itself at Alex yeah. when you did that. Yeah, yeah it's good. Okay. It's good. Perfect. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so that is your uh, quest. To the Ecclesiarchy, I think. Reconvene with the group. Wonderful. So. Everybody else. It's all back at the Ecclesiarchy, yes? Ruminations have been happening. Would you like some debate amongst the people? Well, no, Kreiser's not there. Kreiser, we haven't tied in with you in a while. What have you been doing, my friend? I would like to call my good friends. Your good friends, all your fucking auxilia. Tibalt and Deus. Now, which ones are those again? Those are the tech priest and the book boy who were meeting the frogs. Oh yes, yes, that is right. Tybalt, yes, a prospective dais. Tap Tybalt because I am paranoid on how the Canicus deals with the Arbites. Okay, so uh, if you give me one moment while I just sorry tabled. Not Tybalt, that's why I got confused. Tybalt. Tybalt. Uh, so, Tybalt, Tybalt uh, answers the uh, uh, Vox caster, and in the background, you immediately hear crying. Oh. Just, <laughs> uh, and he goes, Tybalt 9 4. What is the crying, Tybalt? What's going on? Dias is unhappy. How can I assist you? Why is he unhappy? We have some time. We are purging the Xenos. Ah. It's actually comes to something I wanted to ask you. Uh, how does the Mechanicus usually deal with the uh... Arbites, in such circumstances as the Purge comes to the station. I assume that the Mechanicus uh, keeps itself to itself? One Engiseer is worth a thousand peasants. Of course, but uh, how much would one need to 
be worthy to assist the Mechanicus during these times. The, so, sorry, can you say, so you're, you're like, how, so you're basically asking, are the Arbetes going to leave these fuckers alone? Or what are you asking? Yeah, here? are the Arbetes going to walk up to the Mechanicus combine and go, you know, can't touch this, and how do I get in there? Ah, <laughs> okay. So, uh, in previous, in previous incursions upon this station, the Mechanicus have, for the most part, been left alone. Logic and mechanical will precludes the ability for criminal activity. Of course. A longer leash is supplied to us than the common citizenry. This is your paranoid trait you're using, yes? Yes. For this wonderful. I'd like to get information that he may know and how um, outsiders may abscond in the mechanical sector. Hi. Through perfectly legal means. If you're looking to gain entrance, I that would be a probably a persuasion because you're attempting to persuade him to be. Like, hey, can I can I hide in your luggage, please? He just rolls a cunning and tells me what he knows. Oh. Okay. This is my trait. Yeah. Paranoid. I tap one of my connections. He rolls a cunning fellowship test and provides you with whatever information he can provide. <sighs> the mechanicus upon this station may be able to assist you. Hiding you amongst their ranks. And a few others, maybe? Like the murderer you have with you previously. Who? The one you called Galeev. <laughs> oh no, I wasn't talking about him. I was talking about uh, <coughs> the comrades of mine. Some uh, ex auxilia, I think. We may be able to hide some. A battalion, no. A squadron, perhaps. But if you are looking for a quiet place to hide for when the Arbites enter the station, the abandoned sectors are always adequate. It would take many, many months for a person that wished to not be found, to be found there. This is true, this is true. Mm. Oh, thank you. I shall uh, see what you just you, 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 get, you get the kind of fact that he's probably nodding, he like fucking just goes and just fucking hangs up. Mm -hmm. Perfect. The Ivox. Mhm. Mm I love that everyone's got phones. It's just so much more efficient. Crazy, give me mine. Crazy can contact everybody because she can get a box back. Oh. Yeah, Glaive, I'm walking on sunshine. Starts playing on your box. <laughs> Glaive. Hello. In case this order goes perishing, you are free. I've obtained some information that may be of use to perhaps for the last time. The mechanicus are known to hide certain individuals. It may be feasible for you to take refuge there while the purge manifests. Seems like we tend not to be desirable. But if we get the cure going, then it might not come out that way. Might be seen uh, more as aid workers. Uh, I'm not sure if the RPT see it that way, Dave. I'm also not sure about the capability of the persons creating the cure to do it in such a small period of time. 
I'm also not sure about them torturing members of the Emperor's Horde the Inquisition. And I'm about to find out what they've acquired or learned. I did do some digging with Zeph. Did you find anything? Something that might get us out of this mess? Um, I think Zeph wants to become the governor. The Baron. But the Baron's still alive. I don't know if I stopped him from doing that or whether or not he's... Zeph's going to stab the Baron? Oh, he went visit to the Baron. He seems to be in a bit of a hot streak recently. I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah, did I? That's what I followed. Mm. I'm surprised you didn't stab the Baron. Why would I? Somebody probably paid you. <laughs> uh, I've not had many jobs for a while, mate. Mm, that's true. <sighs> I did find out, though, that there's a... Some short-range craft can get us to other places in this system. Not quite mm. out the system, but maybe if we head to another world, there might be a way to get to the next sector. But why? Because with everybody dying, it would just be employed for mercy killing by the ecclesiarchy. Mm. Mm. But uh, the angel, he's here on a purpose. And so, so far, uh, the two things that we've been told to find, we found both. And more with our murder servitors and scavengers and a patriarch. True, true. Maybe we can aid the angel and finding whatever he is he's after. Mm. Which means being off the station when the RBTs come. True, true. Find out what I find out. Try and get in contact with you. Yeah, I. I don't like the idea of leaving my people here, but the angel. The Yankees' so judgments not... are skewed, keeping them both alive. I, I do not know. He acts seemingly in his own self-interest, not in the interests of the emperor. As far as I can tell. Him. From my little dealings with Inquisitors, or hearing about Inquisitors and the Adeptus Astartes, they do act a law unto themselves. I, I'm not sure I can be referred to that. I've served the Emperor too long to throw that all away. Sacrifice too much. Oh. Seems like we're all just trying to find something. But thank you. I'll follow up my leads and I'll follow up in yours as well. Of course, Clay. Stay safe. Did you manage? <laughs> Fuck, what's his name? <laughs> I'm just <laughs> going to say, did you manage to get some accommodation for Ivan? Ivan? Yeah. Big bloke. Carries a thing called Sasha all the time. Oh, yes. Uh, it appears that uh, the abandoned sector would probably be best, so I'll, I'll have them begin some preparations to camp out there for a couple of months. Uh, we've lived in worse spots, so it should be back. And then by the time the Arabic is clear out, uh, we can yeah, sneak back into society. The way it's always been. How long do you think that's going to be? A year or two? Well, perhaps. Hopefully not that long. The RBT should only stay maybe six months, maybe a year, depending. But the, a year is a short time when compared to the eternity of death. Were you here during the last purge? No. No? No. Because I I've can't only heard. What, what have you heard? Because what I've heard is there was one RBTs and a bunch of enforcers and they tried to do a purge and it didn't work out well for them, but that's it. Well, well, it well enough for most of the station. But then again, the abandoned places, the places we would have been well, we hunted, as you know, perhaps they do not cover as carefully as they did. They should have. Uh, I'm not sure that the second time round will be as lax. Fair enough. 
Mm. Well, the main thing to see is whether or not production stops. If production stops, we're fat. Production That's keeps true. going, we're great. That's true. And I also think if the Baron dies, I think we're fat. That's why I fold Ziff. Mm. There's a thin margin for the success in this one. Then I'm not sure everybody is aiming for the same goal. Well, Ziff seems to have the right plan. Friends in high places. That's why I was thinking keep the Baron Ziff? alive. Ziff has the right plan for danger. himself. I'm not sure about everybody else. Cassius has always been an interesting. Who, who's that? Hmm? Who? Oh, sorry, Zeph. <laughs> you know him by a different name? I've known Zeph a long time. Uh, yeah. We used to shoot at each other. Uh, he's always at his own. I'm not sure if he's not dead, but uh, he'll look out for us. Where do you want the party to? Is up to you. You've probably seen that in the trenches somewhere. People get desperate and needy when the shit hits a fan. Well, mm, there is a uh, the respect between competitors on this. At least me for him. He's struggling. Then I can respect that. I'm just waiting for everything to flip because I've seen targets throw the wise in front of them. So, hmm. laying low definitely sounds like an option. But I'd like to find out what are more glorious looking friends, more acceptable public figures have well. in mind. If they find out some miracle solution, then I'm all for it, of course, but... Uh, my faith in the Emperor is strong. I'm not sure sure about my faith in... his... the geese particular of Serbia. Well, we have options, put it that way. We can hide, or we can... Move to the this next is, sector. This is or the next planet. We do always have options. My money would probably be more on absconding, because I don't want to get stabbed in the neck whilst I'm sleeping down there. And I don't mean by shank, I mean by those fucking creatures. That's fair. I, fair. Yeah, you, you, you're correct. The other, um, I, I can't leave. I can't leave everybody here because I just can't. I'll tie in with you when I find out what I find out. We'll do good. Keep it touch. Stay safe. You too. Whoop. Wonderful. So, back at the Ecclesiarchy? What do we got? I tell Odysseus and Evangeline and I take it Fabian's in our study, working away, tinkering. Uh, yes. I tell them everything. As a good little scout boy that I am. That the Baron's alive. That uh, Zeph has offered his services. That he, there was a steward that there are ships uh, held on the docks that can't disembark because of uh, RBT's interdiction. Short range craft are available to void jump to go to other planets. So if that's any help to the Space Marine on finding whatever he's finding. Uh, and yeah, I just basically say like, oh, Where's F now? Oh, I left them back at the thing, me. The Lady Catherine's. No, I'm on my way. Mm. Lady Catherine's wheel, yes. Uh, 
and then I ask the two in front of me. Are you both in front of me? Mm. So what's the plan? I think that's a discussion for next session. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to end it there? Sure. Yes, I think that is an excellent point to end it so we can have a little a little thinky do you about what you want to do for next time. No, there is options. There are many options and as always, none of them are good. <laughs> <laughs>